today Abigail and I are going to show you guys how we make meatloaf. So first things first, you need two pounds of ground beef. Um, we have deer, <laughs> so ground deer, ground moose, ground beef, whatever you have, use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this into a bowl. Just like that. Whoa! Whoa! The bowl's going out of control. Now, jingle bells. <laughs> okay, so in this ground beef, we're going to put all of our seasoning. First things first. <laughs> You're going to need some parsley flakes. This is just dried parsley. You're going to need one teaspoon. You're going to need one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. What's this? What's that? What's that? It's, it's what's going to make our meatloaf taste so good. Now we're going to need some paprika. We'll need mm. half a teaspoon of paprika. This is yucky. It, it's actually very good. Just like that. We're going to need some Worcestershire sauce. However you pronounce that. You're going to need about a tablespoon. Anyways, this stuff. Worst texture sauce. Anyways, that stuff. Then we're gonna have to put in some salt and some pepper. I can pepper. Salt. You wanna put in the pepper? Here, you put in the pepper. I'll put in the salt. Great job. Over here, I have um, one small diced onion, and I have some uh, minced garlic. I'm gonna throw that in. If you don't have enough? Put some more in. I think that's good. That's good. Now we're going to add some breadcrumbs. One cup of breadcrumbs. We're going to add uh, one cup of milk. Here, you put the milk in. Hold on the cup. Ready? Okay, put them in. One cup of milk. Two slightly beaten eggs. No, it's not. It's good. Now we're going to mix this all together. It's heavy, Mama. Heavy? Where's my mixer? Your mixer? Oh, we don't need a whisk for this. We just need a fork. Well, there's my whisk right there. Right we, there. Don't, we don't need a whisk. We just need a fork. You want to use Mommy's fork? Now what we're going to do is we're going to, I've taken a pan and I've lined it with tin foil and I've put some, um, some cooking spray on it. We're just going to put, we're going to put our loaf, we're going to put our, our meat to, into our pan. We're going to kind of shape it like a loaf. This is a big loaf. <laughs> before we did the video. You did the video. <laughs> there we go. So now that I have my um, my meatloaf. Okay, so now that our meatloaf is in our full shape, um, I'm gonna show you the little sauce that we put on top. Now we need your whisk. My whisk? Here's your whisk. whisk? Yes. And the fork? No, you just need a whisk. Okay. What we need is we need a third of a cup of ketchup. That's ketchup? We need a third of a mm. cup of barbecue sauce, whatever is your favorite. Mm. Light we sauce. need two tablespoons ketchup. of brown sugar and two tablespoons of vinegar, and then we're going to mix that together. What is this? What's this? Brown sugar? That's water? This is vinegar. Sugar. That's it. Love brown sugar. Okay, so Abigail's gonna mix that up for us. Right, Abby? Right. Okay. 
mixer mixer great job so now that it's completely combined we're gonna put that all over the top of can i just no don't like that yucky well it's yucky but it's not that it's yucky but it's just not gonna taste very good okay so i'm gonna pour this all over the top of my meatloaf all over the sides It's really important that you put tin foil on your pan and really spray it well because you don't want this to stick to your pan. Okay, so my meatloaf is ready to go in the oven at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I just took my meatloaf out of the oven. It was in there for 45 minutes and it's cooked perfectly. So this is what it looks like. And I've cut a little piece off for you guys to see. And it's so juicy and it's moist, it's delicious. So, if you have time, make this recipe. I promise you, you won't regret it. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy.